no. Uh, no rubber bullet. No rubber bullet. That's a good one. Oh my god. Dude. Cause I'm downstairs and I was scared. I'm downstairs. So let alone you know what's going on upstairs. Well, while, while I have you, hey, where'd Sumo go? Okay. Sumo. You know, in this day and age, we often are um, mindful of the way police handle cases. So right. in, your in your estimation, in your estimation, as as a is it a former police officer or yes. at this point? Yeah, former, former. Back in the day. How would you judge how? The officers here handled Number one, I was glad that the officers showed up because I, I was on the other side. I'm sitting down, I'm watching, and I'm saying, how in the heck are we going to get out of here? I didn't know if this guy was going to come downstairs. I didn't know if he's going to stab somebody. So when I heard the officers patiently telling the guy, put it down, put it down, put it down, put it down. And he kept gesturing and gesturing and gesturing, and he would move towards him, and he'd move back, and he moved toward him. And they still didn't shoot. And so they had him. They could have shot him then. And they did it. And I think they were giving him time to drop that gun or that knife in his hand. But when he took Sorry. off towards where other people are, that's when they had to shoot. And Tim, you said that went on for like 30 minutes, right? Uh, when I was there, I watched it for about 10 minutes, uh, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Put it down, put it down, put it down. They were very patient. And then when uh, they told him not to, to drop it, uh, when, he, when he said, when he didn't drop it, and he gestured and then he like tried to run down with the knife and aggressive and he took off. That's when I heard 15, 12, 30 seconds later, pop, 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 pop. Do me a favor before I, before I run off here. Can you just tell me what we're looking at here in this Facebook video that you're giving everyone permission uh, to use? Right here is, is up there is when I saw. And by this time, I don't know if there's officers coming from this way and this way. So I'm thinking that bullets are going to fly this way. So I get my butt on the ground. And I'm, and I'm listening and I'm saying, okay, now they're going to have to take them out because uh, Either the officer's gonna get hurt or somebody else in there is gonna get hurt. So I know I have officers coming from the back side, I know they're coming from the other side. And so uh, when, I heard, when I heard them, I said, just, just get them, catch them, whatever you have to do. You know, Describe we the weapon. Describe the weapon to the us. The weapon was a long silver, something like this. And the guy, Can you hold up, like, you're with your hands, how long you think I'd it was? I'd say about at least that long. Uh, at least this long. A knife? Yeah, a knife, machete type, type situation. And, uh, and when so you're did, a former officer, what would you call it on the force if you saw that? I'd call it a, a weapon dangerous enough to kill me or hurt me. Or hurt me. You know, I just, I, I see so many race relations with the officers. And I, I stay for that very reason. I want to say, look, it's not just always black and white. Whether that guy was black, whether he was Mexican, he caused danger to me and everybody else in here. And I said, let's stop the danger. Let's stop it because somebody's going to get hurt. Somebody's going to get killed if you don't stop this issue. And you think it was, so? You think it was justified? What in your Damn, view? And without a New York in a New York second in New York, so I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't have hesitated twice. So please tell us what it was like. So you're the gunfight. What's the people running? So you can describe the scene. Uh, well, nobody was running because um, the shoppers, you know, people like this. Shoppers were downstairs, but they were. I was around some elderly people, and they were like kind of stuck because they couldn't run. So they were sitting and they're saying, and the lady said, they got to do something. We're stuck in here. We're stuck. We're stuck. And they kept saying that. And I, and I said, they got to do something. And, uh, and when, again, when the officers came, I felt a major, major, major relief. So what is your major, Tim Williams, Tim. And then it was, it was a, I heard you say today, it was like a bang, bang, and a pause. I was a shot. No, I, I heard bang, 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 bang. So I, I didn't see. I, I, I knew what happened. You, you knew what was going. On. I, I knew. I knew. I knew. I knew he wasn't walking out of there because uh, there was just too many people in this mall. Uh, and they, and again, they tried to give him life. They tried to give this guy life, and uh, he squandered it. He threw it away. I don't know if he was high or what it was, but uh, did he have a weapon? Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Yes. You gesturing, know. gesturing the weapon. It wasn't just a weapon. It was gesturing like this. As I dare you come at me, I'll hurt you. Tim, you mentioned a video. Robert mentioned. Yes. I, I took video of the actual scene as it was.